Global mental health is a discipline of global health. And what really is the hallmark of global health is the idea of justice, of equity, of fairness, of leaving no one behind. The systematic denial of rights, the right to care, as well as the right to a life with dignity for people with mental illness in all countries of the world is one of the greatest scandals in global health. And that was the challenge that I have sought to address through my work. The challenge for me lay in understanding how I could deliver high quality mental health care in a country like India, which had very low public resources for mental health care. Within India, my greatest concern has been to reduce the quality gap in mental health care between rural and urban areas. For me, the most difficult experience when I enter a new rural community is when I look at the condition that they're in uh, and I hear the histories of the care that they receive, which is often no care at all. My primary interest is to help them really regain some dignity in their lives. And only then can I actually uh, start extending my program towards the needs of the hidden mentally ill. In a community, you have uh, many people who are marginalized, but even within those marginalized communities, the ones who will be further uh, invisible will be the ones with mental health problems. And I think that's really what upsets him. How do we integrate people with problems, not discriminate against people with mental health issues? He was a leader in the movement for global mental health. That was the first time someone had thought about how do we convene a multi-stakeholder group of folks that can be actually driven by people who are using mental health services because those are voices that are critical to whatever's going to happen with developing care for people around the world. We have been able to show how we can deliver treatments for a whole range of mental health conditions, depression, drinking problems, dementia, psychosis and autism using frontline workers. Vikram has shown that you can do something with uh, you know, low budgets, uh, as long as you have a community-based approach. The community have a lot to offer when it comes to uh, mental health. It has to come from both the individual, the individual treatment, but also from the environment and the community. The principle of how we get community health workers to successfully engage with the community uh, involves many different steps. First and foremost, we recruit people from within the community. They need to actually live there. They need to speak exactly the same dialect. They need to identify socially and culturally with the people they're going to work with. I think what really drives them is really, uh, you know, just uh, a fairer world. I see Vikram as a visionary leader in the area of global mental health. This is the most neglected shield of global health and the human rights. But there are people like Vikram who are dedicating their life to improve the field. In this award, I see not only a recognition for his personal contribution, this is a recognition to the suffering of people in silence all across the world. If our understanding of human resources for health includes the ordinary person in the village who can be trained, who just with a bit of passion for mental health care, we suddenly transform our idea of places as being under-resourced to being richly resourced. What I hope to do is not only to demonstrate that mental health for all can only be achieved by involving all, but also that mental health is central to sustainable development. <laughs>